Hello friends, Kishan is here again and this is the continuation of my previous video. Uh, there we have learned how to save single entity as well as list of entities here in MySQL database using a Spring Data JPA. In this video, we will uh, see uh, remaining current operations, so create operation we have seen. Now in this video, we are going to explore how to read I mean entities or records from the database mysql database so if you go to the uh, crud repository then to read uh, i mean entity or records from the database you have a different method like find one which uh, uh, you can retrieve an entity by its id so this one already we have seen in the uh, restful web services with databases uh, database right again you can check whether uh, any entity exists with a given identifier or not so this will either return you true or false if entity exists with this id then this is gonna return you true as false now uh, we have a find all which returns uh, which returns the iteration of your uh, iterable of entity and uh, your entity type so that already we have seen in the restful crud operation and uh, finally we have uh, one more methods saying that find all is a, it's a overloaded method which accepts collection of IDs so here you can send a collection uh, with the primary key IDs and this will uh, try to face the records based, uh, with the specified collection of IDs so in this video tutorial we'll use this one remaining pending one so and this one is pretty straightforward so I hope you can explore yourself so let's go ahead and try to um, so here is our bootstrap uh, class and here I'm going to write get uh, persons get person by IDs so this is the local method I'm going to create and uh, here basically I'm gonna uh, we have seen return type of method is uh, I travel of your entity object right so we'll store in the uh, similar return type I'll give so this will return us I table of person and I would say person list and here I'm going to use reference of our uh, reference or our service class and here I'm going to create a method a similar method like this but here I'm going to create a list of integer because our primary key data type is integer so list of integer I would say ID is equal to new new array list you can tie you can take any kind of list or set that will work over here with okay, type integer and here I'm going to add some IDs like uh, two ID I'm going to specify 2, 3 and 20. Let's uh, specify some uh, IDs which does not exist uh, for that record does not exist in our database. So we have three records as of now in the run database with ID 1, 2 and 3. Right. So and this ID of list you can pass it over here. Right. And once you get the person list then we will try to print this person list using for each loop java 8 for each loop so start time system dot out colon colon print l and this is the way to print person object uh, using for each loop uh, in java 8 now let's create this method now here we have created this method and here i'm going to use this reference to reference to find all so when you do find all then you have a three overloaded method right one which returns the all entity available in the database all records into the database second second you have to pass the collection of id that we are going to use and third you can retrieve entity based on the primary key id so i'm going to select second so this is going to return us collection of entities right so let's run this 
application now and see uh, we are expecting to get two records from the database right for id 2 and 3 but uh, for id 20 it does not record does not exist so let's see what happens so saying that uh, okay so this is a jpa expecting uh, to have a default constructor in our class so let's add a default constructor in our entity class and after that if you run it then that, will, that is supposed to run cool now you can see the i mean uh, query trigger by the spring data jps select and that is selecting all columns right person zero underscore is the alias of person underscore table and from this alias that is trying to refer every column and again for every column uh, jpa is a specifying alias name as well and here in where clause you can see person id in clause they have given and we go as of now we are getting only uh, one record so let's try to see how many records are there so there are uh, three records but uh, this is printing only two records so let me check out Uh, okay id2 uh, we have specified uh, twice so let's uh, specify id2 3 and 20 at this time we were supposed to get two records right for id2 and 3 id2 uh, i had specified twice so that was the mistake now you can see two records we have we are getting right for this so i hope you understood how to read uh, i mean uh, list of entities for the list of primary keys so that was the read operation right now next thing we are going to uh, look uh, we have seen a create read now we are going to see delete operation i would say delete delete person entity and uh, this method local method i'm going to create delete entity and here I'm going to create a, a person entity so uh, uh, so we have a one method which deletes uh, entity class based on the ID a specify ID but that is already we have seen in the uh, spring a spring boot restful crud example so here I'll take uh, I'll, I'll try to use another method so here you will have to pass primary key only so here primary key i'm going to pass three right and uh, let's use uh, let's make use of this people management service which uh, just i am auto wiring over here so here uh, and i would say delete uh, i'll give the method name almost similar in service class now and we are passing this person entity right so setting id is mandatory rest of the uh, parameter rest of the property you can leave but id must be there right now we can make use of this door reference and you can see there are if you look delete then there are four overloaded uh, there are four overloaded uh, greet method not basically but first three is overloaded but uh, third is uh, delete all if you want to delete all records from the database then that's the delete all so, first deletes based on the id second you can pass uh, uh, collection of entities and all collection of entities will be that will search from the data store and if find then that will be deleted third you will have to pass the entity object and that entity object if exists in the database side that will be deleted and fourth that will delete all records from the database so this person entity i'm gonna pass it over here and let's run this main uh, class and see this is getting deleted or not now we can verify the eclipse console now see eclipse uh, sorry spring data jpa first 
trigger select query first make sure that that exists or not if that uh, entity exists with this id then after that that is delete query has been fired and if you go then uh, uh, person with id 3 exists and if i refresh it that is gone away that means we have deleted a person record with uh, primary key 3 so that's all about delete now last but not the least we will see how to update the existing record into the data store so i would say update employee sorry not employee but person person email by id so this is the local method i'm going to create so let's create this local method and here uh, you can see the update uh, there is if you, you look into the current repository there is nothing like an update method so so basically you can make use of the save method which works as a update save method we can uh, use to update the record into the database so there is this this updation is little tricky so let's see how we can perform update so we are going to make a people uh, service and here i'm going to uh, uh, create uh, this method by passing first as the primary key so primary key i'm going to pass two so for two employee exists so two and new email address which i want to update for this guy uh, so current email address is this new email address i'm going to uh, update with 2017 gmail.com now let's create this method now i have created this method in the service class and first is the id and second is the new email that we want to update into data store now we'll call this tom method uh, first of all we'll call the find one method and make sure that id uh, sorry entity exists with this primary key into the data store after that we'll try to uh, update that now here we'll have to check if id which is coming from the client and and uh, another is coming from the database both are equal so get id if both are equal means this person exists in the database side so here we'll set new email address right so just set new email address and come out from here and uh, again we can make use of this door reference and call save method on it so save here you have a two same method i am going to use second one which uh, saves the entity so here here uh, jpa is going to uh, trigger three uh, uh, sql query first for select and second for while updating uh, that will again select the uh, entity and uh, that will uh, update update once so here two select a statement one uh, update query will be fired so let's try to uh, run it and see what happened now here we are expecting so here jpa will perform two select operation and finally that is observing that you have made change some property so that's why that is firing the update query but here you can see that is including even all fields even we want to update only email address but that we are driving all fields and that's just overriding uh, but you, you do not get any data loss if you refresh is then email is getting updated you do not get data loss but this is kind of performance uh, degradation right so here if you are changing the email address then in the update query only email address should be uh, included right to do this what you will have to do you will have to go to the entity class and before entity class you will have to use uh, annotation at the rate dynamic dynamic update and after doing show uh, if we go and uh, just let's try to uh, update email address again and if i run it now then again email is going to update but at this time you can see only email will be included in the uh, update query see email is going to update in the update query so that's all i have in this video tutorial this code i am going to upload on the github and github location i will specify in the video description 
Uh, so we have seen all 